I believe it was December 1538. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays to everyone, uh, to the best that you can, uh, wherever you are in the country, uh, really in the world. I hope you can celebrate uh, Christmas and the holidays with family and friends to the best that you can, whether it be virtual or in person. Just hope you have a great holiday season. All right, let's jump into what we're going to talk about today for our uh, our agent update. Uh, jobless claims, look, we're, we start here pretty much every week. You know, stable uh, employment is the foundation of the mortgage market. Market, real estate market. So that's what we look at. Stocks, interest rates, and housing. I think these are some really important data points. I personally am concerned about inflation coming up, so we're looking at it closely. Um, the, last week, we had some median price information come out, and the media kind of jumped on it, and there was some, you know, a, we're in an affordability crisis. So we're going to look at the affordability crisis. Is it a myth or is it real? And then there's some important real estate tools that I want to review um, because I think as we go into 2021, I do think there's going to be inflation, and I think real estate agents are really going to need these tools to remain competitive and effective in the marketplace. All right, let's look at jobless claims uh, for the week of 12-5. Um, it wasn't great. You know, we had increase in uh, claims and continuing claims. It's not what we want. Uh, we, if we, no matter where you are on shutting down the economy or opening the economy, um, you know, the, the potential uh, harmless effects of COVID. Look, we got to have a robust economy uh, as it pertains to um, housing. And so uh, we really need to see employment come back. However, we can do that safely. And that may be the new vaccine. I do believe uh, there is vaccine coming out this week. And so maybe that will begin to have the uh, impact we need. Let's look real quick at the Citigroup Panic Euphoria model. Now, this is a contrarian model. To that, I'm saying we're at, I think, 1.6, something of that nature right now. So there's this exuberance, this euphoria in the stock market as we continue to hit all these all-time highs. Well, we're saying this is contrarian. So when you get to this level of a euphoria in the marketplace, <clears throat> what that can mean is we may be overconfident and you may start to see a retreat in the stock market. Well, um, if you see, uh, if the market's overvalued and you start begin to see investors start to pull from the market, well, if they're selling, that money just doesn't sit in the kind of the ether. It, it's going to go into other investment um, uh, opportunities and those might be mortgage-backed securities, bonds, things of that nature. And when that happens, that could have a net effect of actually driving interest rates for mortgage-backed securities down, uh, which could continue to add stimulus to the housing market. Uh, look, I am not an expert in stocks, uh, and so this is a data point that comes from my experts at MBS Highway. It's S&P valuations. The point of this is, look, the, the stock market um, is at all-time highs right now, and that just dovetails with the panic euphoria model that we just looked at. And so, <clears throat> you know, we really need to look at inflation. We really need to look at potentially... Either could there be sell-offs in the stock market, in which case that may be good for housing, it may be good for mortgage-backed securities, meaning uh, pr uh, e e interest rates could be driven down lower. So let's, let's talk about that in inflation. <clears throat> um, right now, inflation remains tame. Um, it's unchanged year over year. If you recall back oh, before COVID hit, the Fed was trying to target this 2% inflation number. Um, now, look, I am very concerned about inflation in the future. I can't tell you when it's going to happen. But, but the Fed has been stabilizing the marketplace uh, by purchasing mortgage-backed securities. And that has been, uh, with that stability, I believe interest rates are artificially low. And believe it or not, I think that can have some detriment in the marketplace. We're certainly seeing, seeing it in, uh, in inventory levels. Well, when that happens, uh, you, you know, there's so much money in the marketplace and stimulus and things of that nature. We could see inflationary pressures in the marketplace and, and bonds and interest rates hate inflation. And we could see some type of rise in rates that, that might be uh, more aggressive than we would want. So we just have to wait and see what happens. The other piece is you're starting to see in some other in indices, indicators, that inflation is beginning to potentially be uh, in, in, on the horizon. And one of those would be the Small Business Optimism uh, Index um, is at a three-month low. And I think it's like a point uh, off of uh, 2008. Uh, so 
There is some concern in small businesses, and that stands to reason just with what's going on with uh, with COVID. Uh, and and we also know at some point we're going to have a lot of demand in the marketplace when we get control of COVID-19. And so we could have some serious inflationary pressures. Well, what does that mean? Uh, I think real estate agents have to be prepared for it and have to understand um, uh, what to do to keep their businesses alive and vibrant. Let's talk about the affordability crisis or myth just a little bit here. Uh, the medium home price is up 15% year over year. And I, I heard some media saying, oh my gosh, this is an affordability crisis. People, let's make sure we understand what a median home price is. The median home price is just the mid-mark between uh, where houses are selling. So 50% of the houses are selling higher than that price and 50% are selling lower. It is not appreciation. Appreciation is up at 7% year over year, which is, I think it's actually a, a good number. I like to see it a little bit lower, but houses are appreciating nicely. Now remember, interest rates are ridiculously low right now. Incomes are actually up. So if you really think about it and look at the whole picture, there's not an affordability crisis. There certainly is an inventory crisis, <laughs> that's to be sure. But in some cases, houses are actually more affordable in some markets. Last thing I want to talk about is the real estate tools. I think this is important. Um, look, as the market changes in 2021, as inflation comes about, if you're a real estate agent, you've got to have the tools in your, in your toolkit, so to speak, so that you can remain competitive and have a vibrant business. I've got a bunch of tools. I'm just listing a few here on the slide that you can use. Um, and also, we've got great products. The non-QM with investments and real products are coming back strongly in the market. If you want to talk more about those, I would love to have that dialogue.